When we start with A, it's airway. So we need to see if the patient has a patent airway and if they're breathing accurately. If we find that the patient's airway is compromised, either they're not breathing enough or they are having problems that they have blood or vomit that's into their airway, we need to intervene. We do what's called an intubation. So we will give medication to sedate and paralyze the person and we'll pass an endotracheal tube into the mouth and into the lungs and put the patient on a ventilator. The endotracheal tube has a balloon at the end and it will be inflated into the lungs and we'll put the ventilator on the end so that the machine will breathe for the person. Once the patient has the endotracheal tube in, we will need to put what's called an orogastric tube in. This tube is going to go into the mouth, down the throat and into the stomach to drain out any liquid uh, that is coming from the patient's stomach so that they don't vomit it up into their lungs as well.